All right, I had my coffee, and by coffee I mean subway. So I can go ahead and start. So I was building my house and built most of the background. Still gotta do some. Oh, zombie, zombie. So I don't really know what I'm doing right now. Here's the thing: I was recording, talking, but it turns out the microphone didn't work. So I have to do re-talk re everything over. So I'm just gonna kill a zombie, and I am prepared for a zombie survival. I didn't even let him hit me once. Sure, I let him open my door and let him in to my house, but you know, I killed him. That's, that's pretty safe, I'd say. So I have to collect wood. That is a tall tree. Look, I'm cutting, cutting down the tall trees. Cut down the tall trees. Ten bucks if you know that movie reference. Cut down the. Uh, I don't know if it's a movie reference, but. <laughs> That's what these people would say during their civil war, I believe. Cut down the tall trees. Well, get back to me on that. And the moon looks pretty nice. Oh, it's a full moon. I wonder if it's a full moon every night. I assume it is. I do enjoy the stars, too. It's pretty interesting. Yes, yes if I say so myself, indeed. Indubitably. <laughs> well, I am currently looking to build some more background to my wall so I can clear that up so I'm just get a bunch get, get, get a good amount and finish my favorite part about this is clicking repetitively over and over there's a lot of clicking in this game boy I'll tell you it's really loud too so if you have a loud mouse it just click 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 so finish up, finishing up my back wall. I swear, I swear. Gu guest guide. I keep calling him guest. If you let that zombie, oh, you let the zombie in. Well, now you. Oh, I need to punish him somehow. That guide. Oh, good idea, on my part. Just oh, that didn't work. Oh, slain. I was gonna <laughs> lead him out and have him close the door on him. I'm gonna go back in. Well. Since I obviously did it on purpose, I can show you what happens when you get slain. You die. You go back to your spawn. Which was, mine was a little bit to the left of the house, and you get your money back. So you have money in this game. You have silver and copper, is what I have. Every 100 copper pieces, you get a silver piece. So, I'll show you. I have 98, so I'll go ahead and kill that green guy. And, bam. Got another silver piece. Now, in order to make the merchant come in, he's an NPC, you have to have 50 silver coins and a place for him to live, I believe. I've yet to do that, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to collect this wood. I love what just cut the bottom of the tree and the whole tree just explodes. I don't know if the tree just gives up from pain or something, I don't, I don't know. Well, I just collected copper. And with the copper, you can you can go ahead and build. You, you, I am at a loss for words. I don't know why that happens, but I trapped that green slime in there, and I wonder how long he'll stay in there. We'll see. We'll find out. Sun's coming up. I don't even need sleep. I just have fire of our energy. My character. That's all he has. He has life energy to drink. Drink it once, you'd never have to sleep. Gosh. Can you imagine just building? Building, working up a sweat, getting really tired when not sleeping. And killing zombies while you're at it. Wow. This guy's intense. He's like Arnold Schwarzenegger mixed with Sylvester Stallone. And... Yeah, that's... That's it. Well, as I was saying earlier, copper can build copper bricks which will help you build better items even though you start out with copper pickaxe and copper axe okay what I just did was built a ledge there out of wood and therefore that green guy will not fall down my hole and I'm building underground right now but every so often you'll find the height of your jump and place a platform there so you can 
joyfully jump back up to the top. And I don't know if they made ladder a ladder system yet. Who knows? Who knows? So there's mud brick right there. That's pretty useful if you want stupid things. You know. Oh, it's actually clay. Clay bricks? I don't know what they do. You can build clay walls. Fantastic. Who cares? What I am in need of is stone. With stone, you can build arrows, which will defend yourself. Therefore, you will not die. Yep. Okay. Mm well, I'm just going to collect this for a while. And I'm back. Oh, yeah. Just like the Kool-Aid man. That's what I like saying. Although, don't really say it to your friends. Do you ever just pop into your friends, like, if they're in a circle talking, and you just pop in, you're like, oh, yeah. D don't do that. They'll give you weird looks. I can speak from experience. Experience. Level up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and... Don't make random references to things your friends don't know about. Well. So, down here is a pot. With pots, you know what you do with pot, right? With a pot. That didn't sound right. You get 20 blue stuff. So, that just said plus 20. I assume that's mana, which I have not... I don't know how to use. So, I'll get back to that. You can find random things in pots. I just collected cobweb there. You can build silk with cobweb, which will get you a bed, which will allow you to set your new spawn. So you can change your spawn in this, which is good news. Very good news. You can just explore. Keep venturing eastbound. Eastbound and down you can go, believe it or not. So underwater, you'll eventually die, so you need air. Which means... You gotta uh, come up for air. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Look, more copper. I'll go ahead and mine that. Cool. All right. Well, I got that copper, and I saw s something flash up down here. So I'll see what it is. Oh, it's a red slime. Thirty-five health. Bam. Nice. I'll go ahead and fill it with water. Yeah, you drain that water. Oh yeah. They still live underwater, so that won't kill it. I'm going to place a torch and go down there and kill them. There's a bunch of pots, too. Boy, do I like my pots. Alright, just go ahead and trap in a corner. Bam! Cheap shot. Camping. Minus 10 points. Collector cobweb. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I just said a bunch of random stuff there. Well, let's see. Get money, get get paid. Get money, get paid. That's what I got. Alright. Well, one brick is obviously not enough to jump up there. So, two. Two it is. And I need another. I'm not tall enough. I need to be taller. Anyway. So, you've collected your brick. And you've collected your... Cobweb. And you collected your copper. What? Or am I going to do now, you ask? Well, <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Alright, well, you can build a furnace. Furnaces are like the workbench, in that you can build other items. Woo! So I can place it here. Here? No, here. Here? Nah. Mm. Bad choice. I like to put my furnaces underground. Like a Chinese sweatshop, I'm going to hire people to work underground for very low money. Minimum 10 cents a day. Just like in China. You know, it's sad, but it's true. You may be laughing now. Well, I'm not laughing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> enough of that. I'm just trying to make conversation. So... I assume you can still have NPCs move in if you build down like this. But if you just put a platform there. 
I assume. You know what happens when you assume, right? You're sometimes wrong. That's what happens. I don't know what you were going to say, but... Whatever. So, go back up to the workbench. I can build a table, but I don't have enough wood. So I'll do that in a little bit. A little bit? I'll do it in a little bit. So I'm going to make arrows for my bone arrow. Fantastic. I can kill people. Arrows are fantastic in this. They're better than Minecraft. They're cheap, easy to come by, and they kill people fast. Alright, with the furnace. Let's see. What do we have? We can build a pot. You can grow flowers out of that. Yay. Bricks. Bricks to build your house. Flaming arrows. A little better than regular arrows. And copper bars. So take your copper bar, for example. Take it. Take another one. Take one more. Take five. Alright. <laughs> now let's see what we can build. I go up to the workbench. Not a good idea. Go back down. And get wood. I realize that you can't build things without wood. So I'm going to cut down these tall trees. Look, I'm a lawnmower. Alright. <laughs> Enough of that. Enough fooling around. Back to business. Cut down this tree. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Yes. Alright. Oh, that slime disappeared. Oh. I guess they don't go to jail. Hmm. He got out. He escaped. His friends helped him escape. Dirty, stinking thief. Well, I'm going to build a chair and a table. Because you need a chair and a table for an NPC to move in. Turn a table. So go ahead and do that. And eventually one will move in with certain requirements. But for now, I'm just making my home look pretty. Looking pretty. You know, instead, I, I would much rather have steel chairs or something. Something from, I don't know, Pure Imports. If you know what that is. I'll just say Walmart. Everyone knows what Walmart is. I'd, I'd never go there. I don't know if I've ever been. Surprisingly. Well, that's enough of this. I'm going to cut this episode off here. So, next time, we're going to continue going underground. I think that's what we have in store. Well, so long. See you guys later. Yeah, if you like this, keep watching my series. Alright.